Two Imo State where authorities at the Imo State Correctional Center say only 88 inmates are in custody following an attack by unidentified gunmen on Monday. 1,755 inmates are still on the run. And public relations officer of the center, James Badigba, confirmed the number in a chat with Olenish <coughs> Inouiri, the state capital. Correspondent Prince Uba reports. This official of the Correctional Center that has been in the news since Monday gives an update on the fleeing inmates. Before the attack, we had 1,881 inmates in our custody. Then after the attack, there were some about 35 or 40 that refused to run. And uh, so far, 11 inmates have been recaptured. Then... Uh, 37 uh, returned on their own, making a total of uh, 48, 88. Then we recorded one death, which occurred as a result of a stampede, making a total of uh, 89. That is 1,844 minus 89. So whatever thing that is left is still at large as at now. Since the attack on Monday, the rumor mill has been quite busy. But the spokesman of the center separates the wheat from the chaff. Both the cells housing awaiting trials and those uh, convicted ones. So they are all mixed up. So when you talk about those at large and even some of them that came back, some are some arm robbers, some of them are kidnappers, you know, rapists, arsonists, mention them, even stealing. So all these are involved because the whole cells were opened. But thank God we are recording a good result in, in terms of their return. Four days after the incident that literally vibrated through the length and breadth of the region, peace is gradually returning to the capital of Imo State. Though a few attacks have been reported in some communities, residents only wish that the worst days are already in the past. Prince Uba, TVC News. So worry. And joining me to discuss this is the Executive Director, Rule of Law and Accountability Advocacy Center. He joins me via Zoom, Oke Uwangoma. Good to have you join us. Good afternoon. It's my pleasure to be here today. All right. So I just, it looks like we, we saw that attack on, on police facilities um, after the hijack of the NSAS protest. But it, it does look like now that um, these gunmen are now focused on um, destabilizing the security architecture in Imo State. Why do you think that we're seeing these incessant attacks? Well, the, the ter let me start by saying that the deteriorating state of insecurity in the South is not just in Imo states. It is of utmost concern, but even more disturbing is the total inaction from the state governors and the, uh, and the security agencies, who themselves appear to have become the major targets for attack. And this, for me, it could, it could be as a result of the fact that after the NSAS, it didn't seem that much change in terms of police behavior. And so um, uh, it didn't seem to me that any lessons were learned. We still were recording days of police misconduct. And I think that people, but beyond that, beyond that, I think that uh, this, what is happening in the East is not to be isolated from the general insecurity across the country. The only difference is that the thing seems to have shifted from the North to the southeast, which has now become the center of attacks. And uh, I mean, the recent one where the whole police headquarters was attacked and the, and the correctional center attacked and prisoners, over a thousand prisoners released. And uh, we see, uh, we had the police, what the police what he said it was IPOP, and IPOP said they were not the ones. The governor says it, it is his, his political enemies. So even neither the state nor the neither the, the political leadership and security leadership seem to have any clue as to where this is coming from. But I think that generally, it is the failure of governance at the center. You know, generally, just that it has. I, I want to quickly pick up from the north to the east. 
uh, so I want to quickly pick up on something you said at last, so I don't, I don't lose it. You said, um, the, you mentioned something about the inaction of, of the state government. Um, what do you think that the state government can do at this time, seeing that security is still very much centralized? Well, you, you, they say that the governor of every state is the security, uh, is, is the chief security officer of the state. So the... Uh, as far as the state is concerned, the buck stops on his table. And since he has started by telling us that those behind this are his political enemies, he needs to let us know who they are and actually do, some, do something about it. If a state is overwhelmed, then he needs to seek the assistance of the, the federal government. I agree with you that security is the, the prerogative of the federal government. But you can see that even, at, at, even elsewhere where security has become a major concern, the federal government doesn't seem to have any clue on how to do this, or they simply don't want to do anything about it, which is raising questions and creating narratives about whether government is uh, overwhelmed or whether government is complicit. So we saw during the um, NSAS protest how after that protest, you know, the body language of, of the police, or sorry, after the hijack of the protest, the body language of the police, um, majority of them were not on the road. And we're getting that same report from Imo State that when you go through that state, you will not find police personnel on the road. How do you forestall a situation where um, you're having police scared for their lives to be on the road or to be even in the police stations and ensure that security is maintained in in most state and just even around the country well you see when the the, the security agencies have the responsibility of securing the the rest of us or when, when they, they themselves become the target of attack it raises cause for concern and for me i think that we need to interrogate uh, the security architecture and how government is responding to security first of all there is this belief that government is politicizing security to the extent that in, in, uh, in appointing heads of security agencies, government is not thinking about professionalism or competence. Government is thinking more about politics, ethnicity, and religion. In terms of investment in security, it is either that government is not investing enough in security or that investments have been mismanaged. I think government needs to check corruption in security funding and ensure that professionalism i mean there's need to you know strengthen intelligence investigation and operational capacities of the security agencies and then they're good to do that when this is happening when the kind of things we see happening are happening it simply shows that government is not doing an, a, enough and i think that um, nigerians need to ask good questions about why things are happening the way they're happening Executive Director of Rule of Law and Accountability Advocacy Center, Okil Wangoma, thanks for talking to us. Thank you.